Welcome ladies and gentlemen, in this episode of the mobile gantry crane I'm going to build the trolley and we are going to test it for the first time. And later on I will tell you something about the plans you can download. In the last episode I've built the main body of the gantry crane and I told you about all its features that I wanted to have. If you haven't seen this episode I'd recommend to watch this one first. Most gantry cranes you can buy, or actually all gantry cranes that I have seen you can buy, have the chain hoist hanging underneath the gantry. That costs at least 8 inches or 20 centimeters of maximum height underneath a low ceiling. Well, I didn't like that, so I designed my gantry crane so the hook of the chain hoist is actually the highest point of the whole crane, so you don't lose any height at all. The trolley is riding with two axes on the two rails of the gantry. These are connected with one bar for the hook of the chain hoist to hang to. I'm starting with machining these two axes. I milled this flat spot to the bar, so it's a little easier to drill through and to have a better registration surface for the parts to meet later on. This small drill is just short enough so I could use it on my milling machine. The C height of it is a little small, but I could use this now to clamp the axis in the right orientation on my drill press for the bigger drill. When I was drilling all the holes into these eight plates, I unfortunately made four of them a little too big, so I turned these inserts to weld them into the holes. These plates have two purposes. At first, they work as a clamp to clamp the trolley in place, so it doesn't roll on the gantry anymore and probably more important for safety so the trolley can just jump out of the rails by a little bump. To make these joints as strong as possible I not only welded the middle axis in place I also stuck it through the outer ones that has several advantages. For example I have more welding surface and it prevents distortion. Well, this is not running like I was hoping, so obviously I wasn't able to prevent distortion while welding the gantry good enough. At the end it runs smooth, but in the middle the two beams of the gantry seem to be bent towards each other. But I had an idea. I just had to be careful to not bend it too much, as bending it back together again would be probably a little more difficult. So I tried to do that in little steps and always recheck with this wooden block. Thank you. 
with this the gantry crane is basically finished but I just couldn't wait for a coat of paint before testing it. And here finally my Bob the Builder helmet came to a proper use. Well, safety first. And suddenly it feels like nothing to lift this heavy chunk of iron in my shop. After painting I put everything back together. Here you can see the structure of the trolley in detail. And I wanted to know how long it really takes to put the whole gantry crane together after taking it with me in my small car. So here you can see all the parts layout so they would fit in my car. And I started a timer and you can see the whole assembly of the gantry crane. When I designed the gantry, I didn't design it for a special maximum load. I checked all the weights of the different profiles and tried to design a gantry that's the strongest within the maximum weight I could lift all on my own and of course also within all the other specs I wanted to achieve. Well, I think under 10 minutes assembling time for one man from fitting in a small car to a fully functional gantry crane, that's okay. At least I'm pleased with it. While I tell you something about the plans, here are some use cases of the gantry crane and that's also a preview of the next project you will see on this channel. And for those of you who want to build this gantry crane, I made printable plans. And I already made plans for my lifting welding table, but I improved from them a little bit. With my welding table plans, the measurements in inches were only converged metric measurements. But with this gantry crane, I redesigned the whole thing in imperial system so that all the measurements will fit to the stock material you can buy. So I hope that's a big improvement for all imperial people out there. A link to the plans you can find below the video. And no, these plans are not for free. They will cost a few bucks. But you can probably easily build this gantry crane just with the help of these videos. But if you choose to buy these plans, you will save a lot of time and you will support my work here on this channel. I'd really appreciate that. And by the way, all the money I earn with these plans will go back into the videos. Thanks to all of you who already bought the lifting welding table plans. So far you paid for a GoPro and a little gimbal. They are already improving the quality of my videos. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and see you on the next one.